With everyone talking about NVIDIA, super microcomputers, we have forgotten about AMD. AMD is still a big player in the semiconductor industry and its stock has seen some weakness in recent weeks. If you look at the state of the stock right now, the stock is up 15.66% year to date, has a forward PE of 47.7 times, market cap $275.5 billion. Now, as you can see, compared to its five-year mean, it's quite more expensive right now on most of those metrics other than price earnings to growth. That means that right now the expectations are that earnings profitability of the business will start to accelerate quite fast. If you look at the current average analyst price target that sits at $196, representing 15%, a bit more than 15% upside from the price we're at today. Now, if you look at the performance of the stock in the last month, it's down close to 18%. It's actually down a bit more than that since the highs of this year, closer to 30%. Now, if we look at what the analysts are expecting for the coming fiscal years, you can understand why that price earnings to growth ratio was quite low. If you look at fiscal year 2024, sales growth of just 13.4%, but EPS growth 35.4% year over year. That's because last year wasn't such a great year with regards to EPS. Then moving into fiscal year 2025 and 2026, you then have a reacceleration of sales growth over 20% for both fiscal years, and then EPS continuing to grow quite fast, 50% in fiscal year 2025, and then another 31% or so in fiscal year 2026. So why exactly has there been some weakness in AMD stock since it reached over $200? not so long ago. Well, we're going to discuss that in just a second. If you enjoy this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe. If not, we really appreciate that. If you want to support me even further, do check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment to get the top 10 best stocks by now or go to full.com forward slash couch investor. Thank you very much. Now, last quarter, if you need a small reminder, we're going to have, by the way, earnings on May the 1st, I believe. So this was Q4's result. Data center net revenue increased 38% year over year. Operating income was up 50% year over year. It's also up quarter over quarter. Client net revenue up 62% year over year and operating income up 136% year over year, but down 61% quarter over quarter. With regards to the gaming segment and the embedded, we've seen some weakness in that. So gaming net revenue was down 17% year over year, operating income down 16% year over year. And with Embedded, of course, we had a huge, huge increase with the acquisition of Xilinx, now here down 24% year over year for net revenue and 34% year over year down for operating income. If we look at the guidance for the upcoming quarter, so for Q1, they expect revenue to be around $5.4 billion with gross margin of around 52%, which is a bit higher quarter over quarter, but net revenue will be down quarter over quarter, Q1 usually a weaker quarter. Now, of course, we know that the PC market has seen some weakness for quite a while. We also know that a lot of focus is on the data center side of things, right? Nvidia takes most of the market, but there is some hope that AMD and even Intel, although Intel still lagging behind, are going to start taking some market share, especially with AMD, with their newest chip. Maybe that's one of the reasons why the stock got hit. Let's have a look at the recent comments from some analysts. So an analyst at Citi said that March notebook shipments were well above expectations. Notebook shipments were up 44% month over month, more than double the 21% rise that was expected due to the pull in demand and new model launches. The analyst has a buy rating on AMD and a neutral rating on Intel. The strength in March aided overall first quarter shipment, which were down 5% quarter over quarter, well above Citi's estimate of a 12% decline and a normal seasonal decline of 17%. The better than expected notebook sales are seen as good news for both AMD and Intel and should result in upside in PC processor sales for the period. Remember, Intel's guidance for Q1 was extremely, extremely weak. Maybe the bar was set extremely low so that they could exceed it. But we talked about Intel last week when they gave us more information with regards to the foundry business, how much money they're losing on it right now and what the goals are for 2030 and onwards. If you missed that video, it's going to be in the top right corner. But MD also quite a big player in the PC segment of things. Gaming, gaming PCs, laptop, you name it. I do still think that this is just the beginning. I think that towards the second half of this year and onwards, we're going to see way more 
AI PC, AI products coming to the market. A huge refresh cycle will start, especially with Windows 12 releasing as well. And I think players like AMD and Intel will benefit from that. Now again, we still need to see some strength with regards to the data center side of things because that's where all the attention, all the hype, and maybe all the money is focused on. Then with regards to a comment from an analyst at Wells Fargo, so the focus on AMD is squarely on upside related to its MI300X accelerator chips. They see a path towards AMD generating $8 billion in revenue from the chip, up from $3.5 to $4 billion and wonder if there is a recovery in the traditional server market and an underappreciated story in share market gain. Concerns for AMD include whether Microsoft is cutting its deployment of that chip, though the analyst said this is too narrowly cited. Other issues could be Samsung's supply of HBM3 for the MI300X, though that concern is also overdone. I've heard some rumors about that as well. Again, We'll get more answers in the coming weeks. The analysts rate AMD overweight with $190 price target. A consensus of analysts expects the company to earn 61 cents per share on $5.45 billion in revenue when it reports quarterly results May 1st. So in my opinion, I think we're going to get a bit of both sides. One side that was expected to be a bit weaker coming in a bit stronger. And then with regards to the data center side of things, we're going to get our question answered, but I do still think that AMD is in a pretty strong position, of course, not in a position like Nvidia, but definitely in a stronger position than Intel. And so you could get two, let's say, catalyst working together as a tailwind and not as a headwind. Then with regards to gaming and embedded, maybe that might still surprise, or as expected, these segments will be a bit weaker. But I do still think that the top two segments for AMD will be strong and maybe even a bit better than expected, then it's all about guidance, all about their view, their look at the second half of this year. I think that could make or break the stock. Because remember, the stock is up 80% or so since one year ago. So quite a performance. I mean, if you look at the graph right now, it's been quite a recovery, right? Since the end of October, stock was just under $100, just under the 200-day moving average. And since then, well, it went up like a rocket ship. Of course, not like SMCI or Nvidia, but still quite a nice performance. Then, like I said, since the top, which was on a weekly basis, $225, it has come down around 25% since we are now at $167 at the time of making this video, this is pre-market. On the weekly, RSI is still high, not overbought, but not neutral either. If we look at the daily, we're a bit more neutral-ish right now. We can also see that there is a little bit of momentum in the last couple of days. It's still between the 200 and the 50-day moving average. 200-day moving average sits at $143, 50-day one at $175, and the 20-day one at $177. And as you can see in the past weeks or so, we did have some issues going above that 20-day moving average. This is again on the daily. But like I said, with earnings season starting quite soon, we're going to get quite some volatility in the market. One company can dictate what other stocks will do if it's in the same sector or even if it's in a sector that is remotely related to one other business. That's just how the stock market works. But in the coming weeks and especially in the month and a half ahead, we're going to get a lot, a lot of answers on how the economy is doing, how specific companies are doing, and then listening to their guidance as well, what they see going forward. So it's going to be quite interesting. But I think that if you're a holder of AMD right now, no shame in waiting until you get the earnings report. If you want to take advantage of the recent dip, then I think go ahead, average down accordingly. Portfolio allocation is of extreme importance. If you're looking to open a position, then I think patience here is key. I don't see any reason to jump in aggressively right now if you're still waiting for some answers. So that will be it for this video. If you enjoyed this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.